everyone welcome i've had a lot of caffeine but i am so ready for this video i'm so excited it's very last minute as you can see by the title today i'm doing another online shop with me i wanted to spend money so i thought i would film it so i can at least try and make back some of the damage that i will make to my bank account i'm so ready for this i have an iced mocha although to be fair it does not taste that chocolatey which is kind of disappointing because i like needed it i think i'm about to be on my period or something way too much information Ugh. that that must have been more than 30 miles per hour surely that that doesn't seem legal Anyway, the point of this video is we're just chilling and online shopping together. Bit of wardrobe inspo, bit of online thrift shopping inspo. Yeah, for those of you that are new, um, you might not know this about me, but I primarily shop secondhand through apps like Depop and Vinted, and I also make a lot of my own clothes. This online shop with me might be a little bit different. There might be some like random ass things thrown in that I need for sewing and fabric and crochet purposes. I'll be shopping on places like Depop and Vinted so I can give you guys some good tips and brand names. This is kind of how it goes. But first and most importantly, Pinterest. That's the best thing to do before you go shopping online is to look at Pinterest and to you know, just see what kind of speaks to you. So this is my Pinterest, Abby Button, go follow it if you want. This is just my Pinterest board for cool items of clothing that I might try and make, I might not, or I just appreciate and draw inspo from. It's like my like mood board. So as you can see there's like a lot of knit and crochet. I'm really loving these kind of knit flares, like I really want to make a pair. I love these little crochet tops, I really want to make some of these. It incorporates like the corset style trend that we've been seeing a lot this year and also because it's crochet I can make it myself. It's very much the trendy style of corset that we've seen a lot of fast fashion companies such as Sheen produce but if you make one yourself find you're more likely to wear it more and it just means it means more. I thought the little Nike logo here was so adorable like what happened to all the sportswear stores like Nike and Fila and Adidas because their older vintage stuff is so much cooler than what we have now. I saw a TikTok about it and I was like, yes, exactly. We could be having this, but instead we get this. Why? Come on. So, yeah, there's a lot of kind of earthy and orangey tones. I don't know how to describe this. I love this jumper so much. It's from Paloma Wool, but it's a hundred pounds. I can't justify spending that much money on a jumper. However, having said that, there is a similar style of jumper here this kind of checkerboard one that I really want to make. This is knitted and I kind of want to get a knitting machine, like, you know, one of those handheld kind of windy ones to make this because I'm far too lazy to make God knows how many panels. I am awful at finishing projects. I'll start one and then I probably won't finish it for like another week. I need something to help quicken the pace in my brain. Otherwise I'll just go on to the next thing if it's taking too long, which isn't good but at least i recognize that this like distressed knit thing too i love it because it's so diy i do just gravitate towards things that i can make myself as that kind of what i'm aiming for so when i see something like this that kind of has that handmade feel to it i'm like yes that's really cool too actually <sighs> i'm saving that i've already saved it to another board i don't care i'm saving it again these little mesh long sleeve tops as well i have a feeling this kind of look is going to be so in for the fall autumn season if we're in the uk what else have i got saved i love this little bralette top too i don't know what i love about it so much i just know i really like it because i could get away with wearing this at the top because i've got enough we've got nothing going on here i make a joke about it in every video it's because i'm insecure about it but also people can't make fun of you if you make fun of yourself first i don't make the rules that's just kind of how it works i really want a pair of these kind of gingham trousers i really want to make a pair so i think i'm gonna look for some gingham fabric online i did do an instagram poll whether or not we'd pick green or blue i'm pretty sure it was like 45 55 in the ratio by the way you can go follow my instagram so you get to be involved in my projects how lucky as the mean girls quote says get in loser we're going shopping if we go through my likes i really want to get a check plaid print Ugh, blah, blah, blah. i really want to get a check 
plaid print midi skirt. I love midi skirts at the moment. I have a floral one and I have like a dupe of the Oh Mighty Heart one. And there was this one that I found that I just thought the colours were so cute. Like there's a little bit of purple running through there. I think it'll be really great for like the later months. And you can also, I mean, I think you could just dress this up with anything. So I'm going to add that to my basket. I also love these green jean trouser things the only thing i'm not a fan of is the raw hem like i'm not i've never really wanted to like gravitate towards a raw hem but the label is just everything these are just everything or even these like little red corduroy ones in my wardrobe i like having a plainer more basic style top and then fun trousers or vice versa and these are a really good fun trouser i mean they're not as out there as like some other ones i think they're fun in a very like timeless way if you know what i mean i want this top so badly paul frank is gonna come back just like von dutch is coming back it's gonna be everywhere so i might have to snatch snatch this one while i can it's not the original print which would look something like this it's just a little it's a little bit quirky a little bit different so mine we go on to vintage i mainly list my stuff over on vintage so if you want to buy some of my clothes pretty much everything is under five pounds go there because i need to get rid of stuff thanks <gasps> yes i want to get a pair of yellow frame sunglasses i think they're so cool and i know they're like kind of oversaturated right now but i literally always have to wear sunglasses whenever i go outside because my eyes are so sensitive to light i really like this sweatshirt too but i don't know i mean i have a green sweatshirt already like a greeny blue sweatshirt already this is so cool this little cut out on the shoulder I love this. I might have to get this now. Now I'm really thinking about it. I think I might have to get this. This is so, I love just the detail here. I think that's so cool. In my last video, if you watched that, I talked about elevated basics and this is like a good example of that. Let's go on eBay. So here is the red striped fabric that I'm going to use to make the Savannah pant dupe. I think that's like probably the closest I'm gonna get to the colour. This is so random, but I also am going to get one of these, which is basically a seam guide. So you can sew straight lines easier because I always moan about doing hems because I can't sew straight lines. So hopefully this will help. Lord knows I need it when it comes to sewing straight lines. <laughs> Something I also really want to get is another pair of Dickies. I have a white pair, but I don't have a black pair of Dickies. And I think that would be like a good new staple for my wardrobe because I love the white pair. I don't have like a pair of black trousers or black jeans that I like. So that is something that I need to buy. As you can see, I have a few pairs of cargos liked on my vintage page here. These ones are actually my size, but they're not the cargo fit. They're like the straight leg fit. And I'm like, mm, I'd rather have the cargos because it's a bit cooler, you know? I like these ones. These are nice. It says they're wide leg as well, which is good for me because I do like a good wide leg. Like I don't like things like trousers and jeans that like hug my legs unless I'm wearing flares. Other than that, Mm -mm. I prefer that kind of looser, baggier fit. Little shirt, big pants. Now, see, I like these, but is it like, is this too many pockets though? Is it like, like, is it too much? But do I want the full cargo? I can't decide whether or not I want the full cargo or not. Oh, I'm so bad at deciding things. Oh my god, these are like corduroy. <gasps> Shut up. I love corduroy. You know, I might put an offering for these ones and if the offer is accepted, then I'll get them. If not, I'll get the new ones. So I guess you're going to have to just wait for part two to see which ones I get because not even I know at this point. We're just going to have to wait and see. I love these Converse too. Ugh, oh, ugh, oh, ugh. Oh. I really want to hand make a jumper like this. So I think I, I need to get some more yarn though. So let's go on to Wool Warehouse, my favorite place to buy yarn. I normally prefer using cotton yarn, but as this is a jumper, I'm probably gonna use acrylic just so I can machine wash it. I'm gonna get these in the black and white. That's what I'm gonna do. So two of those, add to basket and two of those. You guys are just gonna get so many videos now of me making all this stuff because I'm like way too excited. I just have way too much time on my hands and I wanna make loads of stuff. I was scrolling through Pinterest and I accidentally refreshed this the page as soon as I saw a top that I liked but but I remembered what it looked like and I searched it on Depop and I found it and it is this Mercury retrograde it's just so fun and the print is great I think I'm gonna 
have to get this one i love baby tees i need more baby tees i kind of vibe with this too i kind of vibe with it i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm gonna get it because it is high necked and like i don't quite like that but we might take inspo that this is what it's about it's just about taking inspo we're now gonna be looking on etsy for some fabric oh okay they have good picks if it wants to load judging by the photos it looks drop shipped which i'm actually really upset about but that whole style i really like god damn it why don't we look at statement rings i could do with another ring i like this smiley face one that's really cute i'm a big fan of the smiley faces i love how i got so distracted i was meant to be looking for fabric and now i'm looking at statement rings like of course of course like this one has loads of different elements to it so see, we've got like the numbers and then the butterflies. Like this one could be a really cool long sleeve top. I might favorite that for when I eventually make one of those. I had to learn the hard way that when you're buying fabric for making clothes, don't use a dual blend. Stick to 100% cotton, basically. Don't buy blends, just stick to one fiber. So stick to 100% synthetic or stick to 100% cotton. Don't mix because that's when you end up with pilling and no i think this blue is really nice i mean as i was saying i really want to make a pair of those um gingham trousers but i still can't decide if i want to use blue or green yeah they don't have any green gingham but they do have the light blue and i really like the light blue i'm just trying to envision what outfits i could wear with it in my head would i be able to make more outfits with the green or with the blue i don't know i don't think they have any green so i think this is a sign that i picked blue right if they don't have green in the right size or the right composition. I think I've just got to get blue. That's a sign, right? Is that what we think? Is that what we're thinking? Are we thinking the same thing? I hope we're thinking the same thing because I think that's what we got to do. In my opinion. Really weird timing. I oh, know, but I went to go get a monster. I don't know how my heart is still going with the amount of caffeine I consume, but here we go. So I'm still here, still making content. You know what? I want to actually see how much those um, Jean Paul Gaultier ones go for. Am I going to have a heart attack? Probably. Oh! <laughs> my god <laughs> this kind of eye print is fun though that is that's fun i like that that's very i don't i don't know how to describe it <gasps> oh my god i love could never ever afford it but just for inspo whew, if i can find some fabric like that one day it's over for you do you guys remember like back in 2018 i think it was when like making things out of the ikea bags were trendy i want to bring that back i mean that's something yeah that was it like these little bucket hats were they actually at ikea hold on shut up no they weren't did i miss out on that i'm gutted why do i just end up being drawn to the most random things so i've ordered fabric i've ordered yarn i've ordered some clothes yeah thank you for shopping with me and keeping me company while i do this it's been fun it's been great it's been lovely seeing you stay tuned and subscribe for all these diys and then the eventual haul and styling video when everything arrives how exciting don't forget to check out my vintage and my depop if you want to shop my wardrobe as i said most things are under five pounds if that's something you're interested in and i'll see you guys in the next video bye